Hello Pamela, this is my mock exam about Shakespeare's uh, Macbeth and I will be talking about um, the scene 9 from the last act which is act 5 and this is because Macbeth is a 5 act structured drama play and I know that this is a drama play um, which, because it's indicated in the stage directions like um, Macbeth enters or um, Lady Macbeth sleeves and stuff like that. Um, also, since this is the last scene of the play, we know that this scene is a part of the resolution. And in the res resolution is where we learn um, the author's tone or matter about the subject or the general theme that the entire play is written upon. And also in this um, in this scene or in this act of the play, we learn a moral of it. And the moral in this drama is uh, about the chain of being. Um, Macbeth is um, uh, disrupts uh, the chains of the chain of being, and therefore a chaos emerged. Um, it obviously takes a lot of courage to break the chain of being, but it actually uh, ends up just being pride and arrogance, which um, leads him to committing hybris. Um, hybris is when you probably go in a bit too deep over your head, trying to reach for like some power or status that you think you can have, but you actually can't. And when you first have committed hybris, it indefinitely you will get hit by Nemesis, which is also seen in this play where Macbeth obviously um, has been killed. And this leads me to like a very, very short resume. So the war is over and Macbeth, who has killed, no, Macduff, who has killed Macbeth, is, um, brings back Mac Macbeth. Uh, Macbeth's head in his hand back to the car castle and this is like a demonstration of power. Also Malcolm is now announced uh, the king of Scotland and in this scene he uh, talks about like how a new era will begin and how the chain of being will be restored which leads me to the language of the play. In this play, we see that it's Malcolm who has the most lines. He actually has something that could be a soliloquy at the end. Um, and this division of lines between the characters shows that Malcolm, since he is now the king, um, has the most power or it gives him a higher status because he takes up more space than the other characters in the scene. Otherwise, there is a dialogue between Malcolm, Stewart, Russ, and Macduff in this scene, which could um, mean that, um, well, I think it's like a contrast to when Macbeth were, uh, was king, because he was uh, like doing it very much on his own and maybe only with Lady Macbeth on his side, where I think that Malcolm will have like a kind of a more friendly kingdom where he is he won't rule it alone he'll do it with others as well and all of these characters are speaking in blank verse at all, basically at all time um, which means that first of all they're all sane and 